Good morning, Fiber friends. It's day 18. It's December 18th. I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like 7.25. So, um, I have today off of work. Um, I have dropped the little Hellions off at daycare. Um, they have Polar Express day today, so they got to wear pajamas. And they're gonna watch Polar Express and have their Christmas parties, I think. So, um, yeah. Um... Advents. Let's do Advents. Ah! Oh, you would stuck. Advents. Day 18. Almost a little beat up. Oh well. Ooh. There's December 18th. Got like a nice lavender purple. That's actually really pretty. I like that one. So let's hang this one up. And then let's go into the magic cauldron. See what we can find. Let's do this one. Oh, I already pulled the sticker off this one. Oops. So you get a little Santa hat. And some cute washi tape. Ooh, this looks like some earthy tones. Green. Yeah. Unknown DK from pumpkins and wool. 20 grams. And that's what it looks like. Riley actually told me that pumpkins and wool is no longer dying. They actually turned into a sewing account, I think. Oh, it's a D. Oh, it's Tweety. So it's got the little black nips, just like the, um, hang on. Give me a second. This one. This one's also from pumpkin and wool. So you see, so both of these are DK Tweed. I need to put a little label on this one. So yeah. Day 18. Um, I have... Oh gosh, y'all, I have to wrap the stocking stuffers. I've got a couple of presents I need to finish wrapping. It's going to be a morning of wrapping chaos, but that's okay. I'm gonna turn on some Vlogmases and catch up on what I can. Um, have myself some breakfast and start my day. So hopefully it's a nice quiet Monday with no issues. Just me and the docs. I gotta go run some errands too. I think I gotta go take some stuff to Goodwill. I've gotta go by the pet store to get some Christmas presents for the dogs. Um, yeah, I'm talking about you. Radar's over there. Talking about you. <laughs> He's a good boy. So, and then I got to the third chart on the Monster Doodle cowl. Last night, I need to finish that chart and start the fourth chart before I can start my Euphorbia shawl. So hopefully I can make some progress on that today. And yeah, I'll check in a little later. for two hours working on these stocking stuffers. Here's what I've got so far. I've got this, this pile down. I've got three more stockings left to go. And then I think I'm going to take a break after I get these done and I've got to go pick up some prescriptions. I'm still dealing with my neck stuff. And I've got to go get the ointments and creams for that. And then I think I just may cheat with lunch and go get McDonald's because I love a quarter pounder <laughs> French fries right now. So that sounds delicious. So I'll check in a little bit later. So just pop on here to say, um, a lot of people struggle with not getting their kids candy over Christmas. And yes, I have gotten the kids some candy. But I found these at Walmart in their stocking stuffer section. They're fruit and yogurt snowballs by Welch's. And they also had individual, like, bigger packs of their fruit snacks. I was able to find those this year. And then uh, tubes of kinetic sand. This is the first year trying kinetic sand with them. Atticus loves it. Corbin's never played with it. So we're going to see how it goes. And then I got Monster Jam Minis. These are like blind packs. The cars are like this big. They're so cute. Um, and actually, Handsome Devil and I like looking at them too, which is funny. So um, those are just some options. I mean, we've got like little 
packs of chips ahoy and ring pops and stuff like that but um i wanted to share some of my non-candy ideas for their stockings um i think i'm going to put oranges in the toes of their stockings just because I, that's a fun tradition that I've, I've read about and i think that they would actually like that i'm not not sure about corbin but i think atticus would like it so yeah i've only got one more to go i'm hungry my back hurts fun times i want to knit that's all it comes down to i just want to knit so i'll check in a little bit later in the back i had lunch i went to mcdonald's i had a double quarter pound of cheese and it was delicious um so i went on the way home i um stopped by the mailbox and i wanted to show you guys this beautiful artwork that um i got for the handsome devil um hang on oh i can't get it off um, so this is fracked out woodcraft. There we go. Um, I actually found them through another knitting person, but I don't remember who that person was. Um, hang on. I'm going to put you guys down for a second. And they make wood that is like, um, Sanding prepping for the fractal burn. After cleaning the burn. Okay, so they, they I'm not sure how they do it, but they burn the wood burn the wood into a design that looks like that. So the dinosaurs are laser etched and so are the trees, but all of the space around it, these these spots are are burned into the wood. Like this isn't a controlled process. I think that they lay something down and light it on fire. Um and it makes these gorgeous burn marks. It's just absolutely stunning. And so I wanted to share them with you. They don't have a very big presence on um, Instagram, but their their work is absolutely fantastic. So um, if you can look them up, Fracked Out Woodcraft on Instagram. Um, and of course I did the T-Rex for Handsome Devil and then the two little goblins for the baby T-Rexes. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, he doesn't watch my channel, so I'm not really worried about him seeing this. So, back to wrapping presents. I've only got a few more left. <laughs> Yay! <laughs>